welcome to the channel Tariyogi. I'm Vineet and today we have made 2024 predictions and it's going to be a general collective reading and I'm going to be channeling messages from my crystal ball. So just give me a minute and we'll get to channeling. So I definitely feel a sense of overwhelm over here coming off the very strong eclipse energy from April and I think May is going to be a month of you still maybe letting go of certain people from your life that need to. I do see you maybe having one big argument over here and I do see you going out more. I do see you socializing more and you making even a new friend or two over here. At least casual friends, that's what I'm seeing. And you're going to feel more chirpy, you're going to feel more lively. Coming off this sense of overwhelming feeling and you will be more, you're going to be more discerning and you're going to be more private about things that matter to you. So even if you're going to be making these new friends, I don't see you revealing everything about yourself and you're still keeping your mystique and I think that is also going to help you over here collectively and now I'm seeing a sheep and I'm seeing a sheep being shaven so you're going to be finding better ways to even manage your own own sort of emotions and you're not going to be martyring yourself for the love that you have to give the love that you have to give, it's not going to be as sacrificial as it has been in the past, but it's going to be more receptive where even you will learn to receive the love you're giving out. And I, I honestly don't see, I don't see romantic love over here if you're single. If you're with a partner, then it's all right. But for my singles, which I do feel a lot of y'all are, I don't see new love. And when I'm talking about love, I, I didn't mean romantic love. So I'm just clarifying that over here. But you will be able to experience love at a higher frequency over here. That's also what I'm seeing. And just you being able to embody love is going to help you attract love in all kinds of ways, not just romantic over here. So you might, ha you might have days when you might feel like a little lonely, especially when you look at other couples. And I think May is wedding season. So people are going to be very annoying with their wedding Instagram pages. So it's best to not even look. I think that's my advice over here collectively. And now I'm seeing a roller coaster. And I know I, I had roller coaster in my first crystal ball reading as well. So this could be that pile over here. And I see you riding the roller coaster and having fun. So a lot of y'all that love roller coasters, I definitely see you going to an amusement park or even if you're scared, I see you being a little more daring and sitting on a roller coaster over here. So that might definitely resonate for someone. It might not resonate for everyone. So take what resonates, I guess. I think you're going to be more playful. I think you're going to be more chirpy. You're going to be more just, ha you're just going to be having more fun and you're not going to be as apologetic about it. You're going to be really, really unapologetic about all the fun you're going to be having. And you're just going to be living your life a little more fully. You're not going to be as morose and you're not going to be as withered anymore. Now I'm seeing, I'm seeing a rose in full bloom. So in summertime, you will, you will be able to bloom and have your fun, even despite the early feeling of overwhelm that the month might start with. It is going to dissipate by the end and you're going to going to have a lot of fun. You're going to even be making new contacts over here. And I think with work, just continue doing what you're doing. I think consistency is very important and consistency in the month of May also makes sense because it is going to be Taurus season, at least at the first half of the month. So really, really rooting in your ideas, really fixating on what you want and being a little more stubborn about your priorities and how you're going to achieve what you're going to be achieving over here is going to be very, very important. I, I also see you making new business decisions. I see you also just going after them relentlessly and mercilessly. So 
I think even by the end of the month, you will at least be in a better place to receive more money if you aren't already receiving more money from newer streams of income that you will be setting up for yourself. So it's going to be a good month for you financially and financial planning is something you need to pay attention to in the month of May. So a lot of your procrastination is going to come face to face with you. So you better be accountable. In order to get the best, best for yourself out of all this, no one is punishing you over here. We're all adults. Please understand that. So you might have moments where you might feel like throwing a tantrum, where you might want to quit, but give yourself a day and then get back to whatever you're trying to achieve over here and understand that that is also a test. I'm seeing hearts, but I, I do feel this is more about emotional fulfillment. I think you're going to be more emotionally content with yourself, by yourself, without you feeling the need to have someone. And I think that itself is a very big deal collectively. And since I think collectively, everyone is going to be in this frequency, just more people being in this frequency is going to help other people get to that frequency, if that makes sense. I'm, I'm just seeing like the earth and I'm seeing people and I'm seeing people vibrating pink. And because everyone is vibrating pink, even the people who are vibrating brown and black, have started to vibrate pink over here if that makes sense so that's just what i'm seeing i'm just seeing a collective a collective ascension if that makes sense and and just being in the frequency of love itself and acceptance contentment and really enjoying your every day to day without needing to escape without having no reason to escape over here so in the month of may you're going to be definitely more present in your body. Now I'm seeing a now I'm seeing a big tree. So now is the time for you to even dig in your roots very very deep and understand that in order to grow, first the foundation has to be perfect. The foundation doesn't just have to be perfect; it has to be extra perfect. And and this could even just mean your skills, you refining what you're doing over here. All those things are going to be super rewarding for you. If you put energy there, I see dexterity. I see you doing different things with your hands. So again, because you're going to be so embodied in the month of May, you're going to create more. So it's all a loop and it's a very positive loop you're creating for yourself collectively over here. So keep, definitely be more mindful about it and go after it more relentlessly. I think that's the message. And like I said, I do think it's going to be you feeling content even if you're by yourself, you're not going to feel lonely in the month of May. I definitely feel that and see that over here as well. You're not going to also be creating new problems for yourself. I think you have really even mastered your old behavioral patterns and habits, which as a result is not going to manifest in your life anymore, because if it does, you will actually be able to evade it as a whole problem and not create a problem out of it. So. I do see an ego death over here, but it's going to be a very positive ego death. You're not going to resist as much to this kind of change. You're going to see that it is sort of essential for your growth. And I do see you doing things a little more willingly that you are trying to maybe bypass because of you just being so very tired and exhausted. So there's also going to be a sense of rejuvenation over here and hydrate more. It's mostly going to be summer in the northern hemisphere so drink more water i think that's also a message because i'm seeing i'm seeing a phone and i'm seeing someone's phone go off and what's on the screen is drink water so definitely hydrate more i think that's also a very important message over here don't get a heat stroke and do wear sunscreen and also take off your sunscreen by the end of the day so that was little skincare message from spirit and I know it's very difficult to wear sunscreen every day and take it off, but I do struggle with that myself, but I'm getting into the habit and it, it does make me happy now, if that makes sense. So I do see you being more into your skincare, you being more into yourself in, in a very positive way, where you're really even doing the hard lifting that is required to nurture yourself. 
without wanting anyone's validation, without wasting your time expecting someone to validate you and love you. So month of May is going to be all about you, which is honestly awesome. Now I'm seeing red and I'm seeing blue and I'm seeing yellow. So I'm seeing the primary colors and I do think the primary colors maybe has to do with the creation part of things for you, that whatever you're going to be creating over here, understand that you have everything in your palette over here to create your masterpiece. So don't even for a minute get into scarcity mindset, it's not going to help you. And all of a sudden my nose was itchy, so I would definitely take that as a sign that money is coming in. Which is always a good news to hear, right? To sort of sum it up, what I'm seeing over here in the month of May is I see you taking all your amazing, beautiful ideas, but grounding it and manifesting it into the earth. You're going to create whatever you're dreaming of over here in the month of May, or at least you will be sowing in those seeds and being more aggressive with the nurturance of it. And as a result, you're going to be thriving in the coming months. That's what I'm seeing over here collectively. So if you're asked to work a little hard in the month of May, do it and understand that you will have the energy to go after those things. It's not like you will feel drained and you will have new spontaneous ideas that you're very advised to chase and go after because it's almost like even fairies are giving you certain ideas and that is exactly what you need in order to grow. So even if you might feel that there is just one thing missing, that one thing missing will just come to you from unexpected ways. So be open to it. Be more receptive in the month of May. That's that's the message. Yeah. And my vision is going blind. Yeah, that's all I see. Again, it's a general reading, so please take what resonates, leave the rest down. If you like my style of reading, please like this video, share, subscribe, comment, it means a lot. It helps the channel grow, and if you want to reach out for a private reading, you can definitely do that. My email ID and my Instagram handle are given in the description box below. So you can definitely reach out for a private reading and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.